Hello viewers, in our last video we discussed what is AI model, types and form processing to process documents. Today we are going to talk about object detection AI model, use cases, build, train and test it. Object detection AI model helps to count, locate and identify selected objects within any image. We can use this model in Power Automate to extract information from the pictures from any source systems like SharePoint, Dataverse or any other. Or we can use this model in a Canvas app from the pictures that we take with a camera. We have a minimum recommendation to train the model which is more than 15 images per object but more than 50 images is better. We can tag two objects in the same image. For example, we can tag basketball and soccer ball using the same image. Image should be JPEG, PNG or BME format and it's up to 6 MB each. To build an AI model, we have six steps. For our demo today, our use case is to find how many soccer balls in a given image. So the first step is to identify the requirement which is to find the soccer ball. The second step chooses the right model to find soccer balls from the image. We need to choose object detection AI model. The next step is to prepare the data which we need to collect sample images which has a soccer ball. Next, train the model. After that, test and optimize. Finally, publish and consume it on our Power Automate. For our demo, we will be using SharePoint as a source to send the input. The first step is for a user to upload a document to SharePoint. The second step is Power Automate flow will be triggered. The third step is Power Automate send the data or the file content to AI model. In this case is image file. The fourth step is AI model returns the result. Finally, Power Automate update the result in SharePoint list so that we can verify the data. Based on our use cases, we need three components to build this scenario. The first one is SharePoint, which has a data. The second one is AI model, this to scan or process the image. The third one is Power Automate, which connects SharePoint and the model. For our demo, it will be three step process. Step one, to create SharePoint list. Step two, build and train the model using AI Builder. Step three, create Cloudflow using Power Automate. Now let us open the SharePoint environment to have a source ready for step one. I have a SharePoint and a list ready for our demo. List called games. It has a only title and other three fields, we will use it for our demo. Step two, build and train the AI model using AI Builder. I have images ready to train. I have a two folders called train and test. I have a 15 images to train the model. And for testing, I have one images. So this one is I taken my home. So we will train and test using these images. Now let's go to make.powerapps.com. Select the correct environment. In my case, Azure Learning. On the left navigation side, go to AI Builder and Build. We are going to use Object Detection. I'm going to give it a name called Scan Images. Here the recommendation says 15 plus images of each object. So that's just information. Let's create. So now we can select the domain. Basically, if you see it, common objects or object on a retail sales or brand logos, something. So I call it common objects. 
So I'm going to say next. We can add the object manually or we can get it from the database. On our case, basically, it's only one object. So I can add it as a one object, basically, it's a soccer ball. Click next. I'm going to add images. The direction and then I'm going to try in that one. Upload all the images. I have only 15 images, that's our minimum recommendation. So, this is similar to the same um, form processing one. You are going to select an, one image. So we are going to select one image and then you are going to say um, this object basically it's a soccer ball so this one it's a soccer ball so like that basically we are keep going for the second image and say this case this soccer ball simple process right so every image you are going to point out uh, which one is a soccer ball in this case soccer ball so like that I'm going to um, market or point out all the all the images so now we made all the 15 images we tagged it you can say done tagging click next so now we can train the model should not take a long time Go to model so our model is training now meanwhile we'll go to step three create cloud flow using power automate go to make that power com same one and then i'm going to click on flows click new automated cloud flow so here i'm going to say then new item is created on the SharePoint one. So example, create. Okay, so here, so the site is a customer site and then list is games. Next, get the attachment from the SharePoint. Add a new step. Get attachments. This one. Select the site address. Same one. List is games. Selecting the ID. And, and then we need to get the file content because we may have a more than one attachments. And the next one step get file content so the site and then file type is this attachment attachment id so since it has uh, more than a one attachment so the for loop is uh, applied automatically then now I can send this file content to a model so before we send it now we need to see the a model first we'll save the form okay good models now we'll see scan images it's a trained okay so now go to the detail You can test it or you can publish it. Should not take long time. Now the model is published. I will go to flows. Find the soccer ball, we'll get it. So now I can access AI. 
So I'll say AI filter. So I'm going to use predict and then model is scan image I believe yeah. Yep, that's right scan images okay can give the file content okay so now this is going to produce uh, results so now the results I can update the SharePoint one okay you know click on action go to update item can click or update item I can say update item then I can choose SharePoint. Select the site, and the list is games, and then ID uh, the item is created, the same one. Title, it's mandatory, just I'm going to select the same title. Same title. Okay, so now we have a three fields to update it. So one I'm going to say analyze, it's complete. Analyze it's complete. Now I'm going to say soccer ball count. So this one is so I have a formula. So which is nothing but what it does basically it takes from the result and the from the result I'll place it from the predict and then it gets the length. So it gives us how many soccer balls from that image. That's what it says, it's a length. So I'm going to say this. The second one is a confidence level. So how much confident when the item is predicts. So I can say tag confidence. Again, so this one is the tag confidence. Um, either you can you can multiply by 100 to get a percentage. Um, so I have a small formula here. Simple, so I remove this one and then put them in expression. That's all. We'll simply save this one. Okay, so now we can test this EA model whether how much it predicts. So go to SharePoint. So now we are testing. So click new. Sorry, count me. And then I'm going to attach the document. So instead of train, I'm going to test. Save. When we save this one, and then our automate flow will be triggered, and then we'll be getting a results soon here. Okay, now the flow is completed. I'll go to SharePoint. And yes, it says two soccer ball and then confidence level is only 34.83. Um, because we can see that image. Scan. Okay, so see here is, these are the images we trained. And then we tested, basically if you see here is, it has a two soccer balls here. Um, so because of the other balls, it has a less confidence, but it still is, the result is good. This concludes our demo today to build a train and a test object detection. In the next video, we will discuss how to build and train the entity extraction AI model.
Thanks for watching and have a great day.